Welcome to this edition of The Roadie Reporter. I'm your host for the segment, Susan Wynn. A whirlwind of public outrage was recently created in Little Roadie by none other than the editorial board of the Wall Street Journal. That respected nationwide publication cited the recent Johns Hopkins University report on the Providence school system, referring to the capital city as an educational horror show. The problem was not so much the damning report from independent Johns Hopkins, it was more that a national media outlet restated the obvious right out loud for everyone to hear. Now Governor Raimondo, Maya Alorza, and the newly minted Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green are all in accord that the only way out is a state takeover of the dysfunctional Providence school system. What these leaders are pushing is the use of the Crowley Act. That's R-I-G-L 16-71-5, Intervention and Support for Failing Schools, if you're keeping score at home. A state takeover under the statute does not mean any shift in funding responsibility. Providence taxpayers will still have to foot the bill for whatever the state decides it needs to do to correct the current mess. Nor does it really take Providence School Committee leadership completely out of the picture. So what is it about the Crowley Act that attracts all these senior Democrat officials to its use? Could it be the provision which nullifies existing teacher contracts and their hundred or more pages of specific, restrictive, and costly benefits? Folks, this is the nuclear option for breaking union teachers' contracts here in the Ocean State. So just imagine how egregious and incestuous the union rules must have caused this cadre of NEA supporters to defy their funding source so openly. You might think that nothing remotely like this kind of management insurgency has ever happened before, but you'd be wrong. No doubt Education Commissioner Infante Green is a student of history among other academic pursuits. So she must be acquainted with the tenure of her predecessor, Deborah Gist, here in Little Rhodey. Ms. Gist had the temerity to use the very same Crowley Act to break the then teacher's contract in Central Falls shortly after her arrival. Union leaders were not amused. Commissioner Gist, however, had the intestinal fortitude to do the right thing for the students of the district, despite the union blowback. Nonetheless, it was no surprise to veteran Rhode Islanders that Gist's contract was somehow not renewed by the Board of Regents in 2015, Gina Raimondo's first year in office. So what's the difference this time around? Are conditions in Providence so foobar that Bob Walsh will cast a blind eye on this invasion of his turf? What if educational outcomes improve if this state takeover somehow requires students to learn and teachers to teach? Your lowly roadie reporter doesn't know. But I still humbly suggest that Commissioner Infante Green find out before venturing both in educational and political swamp. After all, this time, the superintendent's job in Tulsa, Oklahoma is not open.